it's time for the Northwest Fishing Report. Join us as we travel to fishing hotspots around the Pacific Northwest. We fish with top guides on their home waters, and we show you the latest tips, tactics, and techniques to help you catch more fish. Today, we drift the Klickitat River for Fall Chinook with guide Jeff Geary, and then chase ocean fresh salmon out of Ilwaco, Washington, with Captain Pat of Seabreeze Charters. Ooh. We're gonna have a lot of fun today. Let's go fishing. Northwest Fishing Reports with Aaron Borg, Mike Carey, and Rob Holman. Our fall Chinook adventure continues. We've moved on to the Klickitat River, and we're with Jeff Geary guiding this river for us today. Jeff, what are we gonna be catching? Fall Chinook. There's a large amount. We get, get them back. They started about two weeks ago into the river. We have a fair amount of hatchery steelhead that goes into November. Um, for the next four or five weeks, this will be an incredible salmon fishery. They expect 20 to 30,000 Chinook back to the small stream. They're all hatchery fish, high fin. They don't clip them because they're non-native species. They've just planted them. A lot of salmon, beautiful water, nice river. Well, I'm really excited. Aaron and I were fishing on the Columbia at the mouth of the click attack yesterday. We got a beautiful 20 pounder. So now we're gonna get It's them time for Northwest yeah. Fishing Let's Reports. Go. Join us as we travel to fishing hotspots around the Northwest. Bass, trout, kokanee, salmon, steelhead, walleye, sturgeon. You'll see a little bit of everything as we fish with top guides on their home waters Jeff, and show you the latest tips, tactics, up, and right? techniques yes, to help you so catch more divers, fish. Today we drift the Click Attack River for Fall Eggs Kings with guide Jeff Geary and then chase ocean fresh salmon, salmon out of Milwaukee, Washington with Captain Pat of Seabreeze Charter. We're going to have a lot of fun today. Let's go no, fishing with Aaron Borg, Mike Carey, and Rob Holman. <laughs> nice job. Thank you. Just like that. That fish is in pretty good shape. It's, got, it's still got some nice shine to them. Yeah, they're probably a week and a half, two weeks out of the ocean is all. They move fairly fast up the tributaries. Put a heavy bead on there for the UV and it seems to really work in accordance to our floats like this. And we rig it, two hooks, a trailer for a cheater hook, a treble, and pretty lethal. When we're baiting these, you use your top hook, you tie an egg loop and about a four foot leader. You rig your eggs through Keep your trail hook out of the way. Make two wraps with your egg loop, and that secures your bait on there. And then we've been tipping it with a chunk of fresh sand shrimp. And that been seems to be the cat's meow right there. You're not afraid to use a big chunk of eggs, are you, Jeff? No. Oh, 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 oh. Job. Nice job. Fish on. Nice job. This hole's produced two fish already as far as two bites. Oh, sweet. He just slammed those eggs.
out here on the click attack with Jeff Geary. You can only fish with Jeff by phone. He doesn't have a website. We'll give you that number here and um, give him a call. This is just an amazing uh, place to fish. Do you run the uh, diver off of a dropper? Yeah, the salmon tendency from their lateral line, their middle of their body up, they don't like things below them. So I try to elevate the bait a little bit. Seems like the reaction to the bite is a little better if the bait's just above their eyesight or above their head. They'll come up easy. If you get below them, it spooks them. Get him, get him, get him. Good timing. Yep. Oh yeah. Good job. Good job. Nice job, Aaron. Day of hookups, this has been. Little bump here, keep your balance, please.
of Chinook. He played with it for a minute. He sat there and he, yeah, he, yeah, he really and I tried, when he started bending around, I tried to jerk with the oars yeah, to set yeah. the hook. <laughs> Just a habit. <laughs> We're out here on the click attack with Jeff Geary, Geary's guide service. We'll give you the number. No. It's been that kind of day. Ten hookups and we've lost a lot of fish. It happens. That's fishing. Aaron and I had a great day fishing with Jeff. The river is amazing and the fishing was red hot. Call Jeff to book your trip today. This is Mike Carey with Northwest Fishing Reports. Potholes Reservoir is recognized around the region as a premier fishing and hunting destination. When it's time to fish or hunt potholes, Ross Outdoor Adventures is our number one choice. Call Shelby at Ross Outdoor Adventures to schedule your Potholes Outdoor Adventure. I'm Guide Shelby Ross. Visit potholesfishing.com or ducktaxi.com for details and to book your next trip. It's tips and trips, new techniques and locations to improve your angling success. We're here at the trailhead of Pete Lake and it's a four and a half mile hike, nine miles round trip. Uh, elevation gain is 400 feet and uh, it's a beautiful little lake. It's got rainbow trout in it. Um, we're, just, we're just north of Copper Lake. So uh, lots of cars in the uh, parking lot, so hopefully we'll find some campsites when we get up there. So let's go for a hike. set up our campsite here at Pete Lake. We've got a nice fire going. Probably uh, try for those rainbow trout in the morning and see, uh, see what kind of success I have. So we were camping on the far side of the lake there. I think that's the east side of the lake. And it's really shallow over there. There's uh, no deep water for the fish to be sitting in. This side, now we're more on the east, north side of the lake. A couple little deep spots, I'm gonna give that a try. You can see the scenery a lot better on this side of the lake. It's just beautiful with that mountain range behind us. If I can have everybody step back here, I'll give a brief orientation and we'll get this show on the road. Hi everyone, Mike Carey with Northwest Fishing Reports and Rob Holman, Northwest Fishing Reports. We're here today with Pat Shank of Seabreeze Charters. We are on the Four Seasons and Pat, our target species today is? It's going to be coho and Chinook salmon. Uh, yesterday actually we caught a steelhead out here, a beautiful steelhead. Wow. And, and First one this year. We catch them occasionally every year, it seems like, but uh, mostly uh, coho. We're going to be uh, fishing kind of close to shore there, so we'll have a good chance to get a few kings. Pat, this is a little bit of a family business, isn't it? Yes, I started in 1955 with my dad. I started decking for him when I was eight. Fished with him for, for uh, or actually 10. I, I fished with him for eight years, and then I went and got my license when I was 18. Been doing it ever since. I retired from teaching here. I taught 30 years at the school district in Oahu. And uh, so now I just down to one full time job. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we've been doing it a lot of years. Great. So, 
All right, let's go. Let's go. All right, let's go fish and have a great time, everybody. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Looking forward to it. Good morning. Take us where the fish are. That's easy, they're between the surface and the bottom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> go through the gill, then behind the gill. I just go through the gill once. Okay. But that'll work too. Well, it does work. And then I'm bending them with the bend. That's how it was being inside the side of camp. Like, oh, I don't want to bend them much. And I'm like, all right, whatever. That's what I'm gonna do it. Talked about your military service and boom, you catch the fish. I'm gonna go over front yet. Yeah. No, switch your spots up, Jerry. Fish, fish. 
fish that we can keep have what would be a fin right here. It's called an adipose fin. It's a little teardrop shaped fin. And the lack of a fin makes it makes us all happy because that way we can keep this. If, if it had a fin here, we would have to throw it back in. So keeper. Keeper salmon. Hot dog. Is it a big fish, Rob? Yeah. It's a, <laughs> I think it's a little bigger than the first one. That's a keeper. Oh, hey, you got it. Right. Yeah. That's what did you say about the king? Woo! It'll walk <laughs> Josh did a great job feeding them line, set the hook, handed the rod over. We got us a real bright king in the boat. So you're using whole herring? Whole anchovy. Whole anchovy. I got those using one hook. It's uh, easier to clear the nets and get the daily fish off the lines without hurting them. Secret is, they need to spin in the water. If they're not spinning, you're not fishing. This is why you take a charter. Sea Breeze charters out of Ilwaco. Look at that king. Oops, sorry, brother. Beautiful hatchery. That's got to be in the 20 pound range, eh? Right there, yeah. Yep. There you go. Go get them. Yeah. 
That was awesome. Oh, wow. <laughs> sea breeze, charters, hat shank. Thank yeah. you for a great day on the water. Oh, yeah. You are welcome. Whoa. <laughs> All right. Hello. There you go.